Hello, hello. We're Bingo. Hello. Bingo. <clears throat> My name is Brett. I'm on the sticks. This is Elden Ring. I'm Alex. I am near Brett. I'm Ted. That's a bingo. Oh, boy. He loves he loves that character. <laughs> I, do, I really do. He's he loves, funny. I love a, I love a Nazi. He loves that guy. We lo- we love a Nazi over here. <laughs> we do. We do. That's our Hans, stance. When it's Hans Landa, I'll at least look at him. Monsieur Lapadite. Do you think I could have another swig of your Estes flask? When you, when y'all uh, did impressions of him during Mega Man, I rewatched that scene. Uh huh. Like I stopped editing and I was like, I gotta watch it. You were like, Oh yeah, oh I see, what you, yeah, you, yeah, it's amazing. And uh, I noticed that the editing for the the Nazis driving in yeah. is super inconsistent. Oh, you mean where they on the road? That, yeah. That whole, well, you see that whole scene is famously sloppy. That has to do with is the really? fact that. Uh, Monsieur Lapadite's fear is uh, clouding his perception of reality. That's awesome. That's so nouveau. I could, nouveau I would buy that. Honestly, I'd buy that. I would. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? Oh shit! Got it. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> and there, you know, no, they didn't make a mistake. I saw the cars. It actually is like a famously uh, like a scene that like he used it as an example to like. I, I would like saw a tweet about this literally the other day. Oh, what's it? About like that, it's used to like show how you can like do such amazing things with like when you sacrifice like full consistency sometimes mm. for the sake of other things. <sighs> Bastard. Damn, that was a fair showing, man. Yeah, not bad at all. First time back, like that's a fair showing. Yeah, it's been a little while. Look at Stinky Boy Jones over here. The reason I'm choosing <laughs> to lose is is I'm representing the player's perception. <laughs> Dude, that's Ted. Tight. Love that, Ted. Ted had tongue out laugh. Ted turned he into looked. Witch Hazel from Looney Tunes. <laughs> he said, hey! <laughs> he did that and bobby pins were in the air. Uh, <laughs> fucking Ted, when he laughed, he looked like he looked like fucking uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson when Calvin Candy got shot. <laughs> He's a cow! <laughs> Yo! Uh. This fucking guy, it's so funny that he just doesn't say shit anymore. He doesn't have to say shit. I'm gonna ruin his patatas. Uh, he was talking so much shit. Now he's just like quietly, like methodically trying to kill you. Oh. Where, where in anatomically are his patatas? Uh, wherever I'm currently roasting him, that's what he has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at hey. that rat flesh tail. He looks like a rat king. Is his tail? Hmm. I think I've just been getting too impatient. Last time we fought this guy was at like the end of a day of recording. And I think I was just impatient. Hey! Hey! That's a big old stick! Ooh, that's a big old stick. It's a big one. Okay. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. Well, thou art of passing skill. <laughs> he's just speaking casually. He looks like a guy that's like in a Shakespeare play wearing like light makeup to like imply like a mutation like a Caliban. Mm, he's costume. like I'm a leper. Yeah, he's like a Caliban costume on like the community theater version of the Tempest. That's what's going on here. And oh. but when you get up close, he's got like goat goat fur. So that's kind of weird, but that reminded me of oh. a, a video I saw recently of a a kid being interviewed on campus. He's a freshman. And he just has, like, the most outlandish way of talking. Mm. In his, like, normal. He's like, hello. <laughs> what can I do for you? We were just wondering how you developed this eloquent way of speaking. Oh my, oh my. Well, I'm not entirely sure, actually. It just sort of happened. And I enjoyed it, and I just sort of stuck with it. Fuck him. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure he's... Look, that... Do you know what that smacks of to me? It smacks of, like, teenager... Yeah! Desperately trying to seem... Like, normal? Like they know who they are. Yeah. And yeah. they really don't. Yeah. And that's okay. Like, I'm not roasting anybody. I'm just stating, like... A fact about what, like, what it really, like, the essence of teenager. The essence of teenager is trying the hardest you can to not seem like you care about what people think about you. Yeah. When in fact, it is the period in life when you care the most about that. A hundred percent. That is what it means to be a teenager. You know what that is to me? You know what that feeling is? Is the mm. feeling of watching, there's like, certain, there's like a certain type of YouTuber that's like kind of rapidly becoming the main type of YouTuber that's like a bit younger. 
that's like just out of high school, just out, and they're like very meticulous. They make like big uh, videos that have a lot of talking that are like hours long, like oh, lore videos. Sure, sure, sure. And they're kind of like low production value, but a lot of game footage, uh -huh. and they're like really deep dives. But then they have to talk, and they listen to themselves talk for a really long time, mm. and then eventually you end up with like, hello, and welcome back. Because yeah. you don't want to sound like a kid, you you think, yeah, yeah. And, and and you have to listen to this guy like do these jokes that are like, well, if you yeah. ask him, <laughs> he's like, I'm aware of how uh, of of how embarrassing I am. Yeah, it's like I really, I really would love you to just talk, like like a big lesson, just talk. It is, it is, it is. At some point, and I think that point is around eight nine years old. We forget how to be genuine. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of effort to figure that out again. Yeah, I don't know that I would have got there without like a lot of like expressive theater. Yep, and play. It, it was improv, baby. Adult like play yep. scenarios. Yeah, improv was the thing that was like, why are you trying to be funny? I stop. I would bet a lot of people don't get back to that. No, they no never do. Way, dude. There's so many people out there that are just totally just. Uh, how many people you know, think John Cena behind the eyes? You know how many people think that like we're performing? Uh, That's a I lot. don't. Yeah, I know. I, I think about that all the time. People are surprised when they meet me. They're like, "Whoa, you sound just like you sound on the show." Like, yeah, it's because it's not a fucking performance. Like, like, what character is this? Like, a acting. It's like a Meisner technique exercise. If this is a character affectation that I'm doing right now, yeah. I'm only just a guy from the place where Valley Girls are from. Damn, <laughs> it's the best I can do for you. I'm getting my ass kicked. That's why I say like so much. You do say like a lot. I do. Like if I had to choose the word, your death word. Yeah. Oh man, I think you'd be done. Later, dude. You'd be done. The rest of the episode, we can't say it. I wonder what Impossible. the word like. Impossible. Starting now. Impossible. Let's yeah. do it. Let's. Okay. The rest of this one. There's a moratorium on like. I don't even say it consciously. <laughs> I know. Why do you think we're playing this game? I use it as a interrupter. That was close, right there. Did you see? <laughs> he fucking. I use it as an interrupter for. I enjoy filling this. space. Yeah, I think there's a name for that. It's called an intervocalic pause. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. Get my ass. Similar to. Um. Sure. Or uh. Sure. What happens to the person who says it first? And by that I mean, what happens to Alex when he says it? <laughs> Nothing. I, are, you, are you like an Italian? I actually think I'm close. Right now? You yeah. can't say shit. It's true. I also said it just now. You said it? I did. I said, are you like an Italian? I am as one. <laughs> are you as? I am as one with Italianos. I'm going to try and not say it. Still. <laughs> even if I won already. But it's hard to talk. Get my ass kicked. It's because I'm from... Specifically, the South Bay that I speak in this manner. <laughs> you sound like Apu when he was trying to sound American. The Nine Mets are my favorite <laughs> squadron. Hank Azaria pretending as if he does not have a New York accent. I'm the doom playing the doom. Huh, huh, huh. It's that shit. That combo is narbar. I value to death any other oh, region oh. doing an American accent. I think it's just the best. I got something for his ass. And the answer is more red than blue. You keep getting him down to the same <clears throat> exact health. I know. We've been here long enough. I was surprised doing a rewatch of Doctor Who how many times they do not really give it their all in trying to find somebody who sounds American. Mm. Pretty funny. Mm. Rare situation uh, in media. Whoops, my bad. But but very funny nonetheless. <laughs> this is fun. I've never seen you choose your words harder. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it. It's wild, bro. I this is wild. I, I kind of don't enjoy it, at, but yeah, I do because you know he's struggling on the inside. Yeah. Well, you're you're taking away my <laughs> powers, my 
my normal cadence of talking. Yes. Yeah, and comfortability. Yeah. I think we call that comfort. Uh, well, like, if I <laughs> if I practiced, I could do it more naturally. Yeah, of course. But right now, it sounds robotic. Here's the thing. I love this, and I'm not just because you're being tortured. That's a big part of it, because it's fun to witness. But also because, like, I know the words coming out of your mouth. Like, you fucking mean them right now. You're really yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's double hard because I write my words down so carefully when I, like, damn it. Yeah. That's okay. Let's keep playing. You know what I mean? When I, when I, well, let me just talk normally for a minute. No, 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 no! <laughs> when I, it's like, oh, shit! When I, when I write my words down, I'm very choosy with my words. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, thinking about them, uh -huh. I don't want to mess up my, like, grammatical, you know, my grammatical... Your grammar. Like, style. Like, my style. Because now I'm thinking about the words. You it's, are. it's so handy to quote anyone or anything. As well. What what is like this person was, was like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, or just saying what somebody is similar to, is similar to. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's the point. It's like a it's 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 a an incredibly ubiquitous word. Like it's like I would argue that that's not the same thing. Saying this guy looks like Batman, right? Or being no, like, but yeah, that's not what we're talking about. Yeah. We're talking about the like very very South Bay like 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 it's like you know like 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 like. It's so funny whenever I start a new show. Uh, oh, shit. That's like an, a period of the show. And I know that the show has made it when I'm through the phase where everybody's like calling me a valley girl all the time. Man. But like, it's the same thing as <laughs> seeing a British person and being like, is that right? All the but time. I mean, I and get it. it. It's, it's a big part of your vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. I, no one here is saying it's a bad thing. No, but it's people do say it's a bad thing to me all the time is, all, is what I'm saying. People are saying like, you should be better than saying like when you're on a microphone. You should that's a bad habit that you should unlearn as a broadcaster or whatever. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like that's like telling somebody to like not be from Texas. Mm. And like be like, can you not have a southern accent? It makes you sound stupid or Republican. Mm. You know? It's like weird. Uh oh. I know it makes me sound like a dude from the beach, because that's exactly what I am. Dude. From the beach. Oh fuck. I forgot I have this. Oh shit! He Did stifled he... it. Did I? I forget. I've been forgetting to use this the whole time. The physic. Yeah. What is the other effect? <sighs> More stamina. No, oh. that's not bad. No, it's not. Huh? Oh, oh! What? Did he hit a tree? He just yeah. Uh, he like grounded out on the <laughs> on the <laughs> geometry. He had a moment of just depression. Fuck this noise! It just hit him. That's like not even that bad. No, it's not. That is. Ooh. That is. That is. <laughs> We're going to get him. It's tough when I have to be so close to him when he starts going to his combos, you know? Yeah. It's tough. You know what, though? Like, I don't feel like you don't have a handle on him. No, no, he's fine. It's just that you have me fighting with, like, some dumbass weapons. So yeah, I think weird. the first time I fought this guy, I was, like, like, when I first beat this game, it was only spells, you know, incantations and sorceries. But I think I was using the um, the sorceries at the time, so like the glintstone bullshit. So I was able to like pepper his ass from pretty far away. I love that like purple shit. You're a dick. Here, hold this. It does like a big chunk. That's my shit right there. You know what I mean? And then I gotta dip out. That's meaty, man. Here, hold this. Meaty man. Real talk, Mario shit, right? It's Meteor Man. <laughs> I fucking love Meteor. I was just, <laughs> I was just watching a clip from that the other day and making fun of it on my stream. Where's the like edgy, like IDW, like nobody's got real issues Meteor Man comic? Meteor Man did have real issues, man. His fucking his his, his neighborhood was taken over by a group of dudes called the Golden Lords, and they all had they're all black dudes with blonde hair. There's nothing scarier than that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see this. You never seen fucking Meteor Man? No. Oh shit. It's, it's incredible. It's kind of like a time and a place kind of movie. Like, it's a very narrow window, right? Like, 
Yeah, early nineties. Not not many people watched Meteor Man all the time, right? Am I? I'm not incorrect in that, right? It wasn't a uh, big in movie. the black community. It was huge. I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine it's probably big. But even then, like, are you are you crushing Meteor sure. Man every family gathering? No, it's not one of the big movies, right? Yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm. Yeah. But even I like I don't know that movie was that's a good movie. It's a good one. I to love watch. Meteor Man. That reminds me of VHS a lot. Oh, I'm alive. I don't really make movies like that anymore. Ooh. All right, buddy. Hold on, hold on. Huh. That was my opportunity. I fucked it. Speaking of opportunities, I'm going to take this opportunity to hucksterize you for a minute. Head on over to patreon.com slash superbeardbros, the only real way that we are trying to make money anymore. Go there, support this fine show. We're back. We're happy to be here. We're so thankful for everybody who's come out to support us so far. It's been absolutely gobsmacking, actually. Like, like, blew us away the way that people show, showed up for us. So, um, just to throw it out there, everything that we do here is now 30 days early. We're going to be starting a podcast soon. We're going to be starting uh, shows with guests soon. All kinds of fun stuff on the horizon. So, come support us. Patreon.com slash Bros. It is great. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Man, Catch Flame is so efficient. It's just, I have to get close to use it. It really does a lot of damage. It's not good. My man Ooh. canceled my shit. Canceled. Watch it. I kind of like want an outfit like this though also. Just going back to his, his look, like... Something about being like bundled in blankets. It's like number one, like I can get into character with it. It's like it lets me like have some affectations that I really enjoy, but it also seems like it would be really warm, comfy. It's mm. been kind of cold. It's raining right now. Yeah, lots of rain today. Do you know what a woolly bully is? Woolly bully! Watch it now, watch it! Watch it! I've never thought about what a woolly bully is. Uh are you just were you just was that oh. you just coming in hot with like a new Thought or was that like related to staying warm? It was only related to you saying watch it or someone saying watch it. Really? Fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know what a woolly bully is. Got it, dog, Hattie. Mighty thing, die. Burn it up, Margaret. It's the thing to do. Oh, yeah! <laughs> what a bully. Man, I was ready, dude. I was so ready for that. You know what's like the lamest thing about me right now? Or maybe it's the cool, maybe I'm getting cred with our audience. When Brother. I think of Wooly Bully, you know what I think of? The Chipmunk movie. Oh, wow. I oh. do too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I loved Chipmunk those adventure. movies. Yeah, the one with the, wa the with the air balloon. I was going to say water balloons. The, they were air balloons. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm right there with you. Yeah, the ones with the diamonds in the toys. That's like beautifully animated. They were like, they had like, they were strangely sexually charged. Huh? A little bit, yeah. What? Okay. Especially the one with the dolls, with the jewels in them. Yeah, Fuck. that's the movie. Yeah. Am I out? I'm out. Like, I'm out. Wait, oh, shit. wait. How do Woo! I? How do I do this? You gotta punch. His I'm ass. out of magic. You gotta punch his ass, bro. I have a kick. Uh, fuck. Just me. spank him in the butt till he's dead. I don't know, dude. He has a lot of health. So let's see. Oh, it's going. I, you're right, bro. Am I? Am I out? Nope. No. Oh my god! Not like this. Can you kick him? Wait. I have an idea. Did you get the butt stomp? I have an idea. Oh, okay. This is it. Does it do damage? More than a punch, probably, eh? Mm-hmm. I just need him to do the big slam. It it's might be coming so now. Big. Here it comes. Oh! Yay! There it is! Whoa, boy, boy. <laughs> Watch it! Oh, that's actually useful. Dallas Man Fight! <laughs> Got another one! Man, <laughs> man, you fight! Clip the one! That's the most fun! Hula, hula! Hula, hula! Help you hit the hammer! Hence his stamina reducing <laughs> attacks against blockers. Now. We'll be using that soon, I think. When we get that ham ham, it's right, it's jam right, time. Right. Charge attacks. 
critical hits, not using that much. All right, let's, let's do this for now. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it worked. You know what the best part of Willow Billy is? The part where it goes. Watch it now. <laughs> that song's like a six, right? Like what? Seven? Six and a half? Yeah, I'm not trying to put on yeah. Willy Bully. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, I got two levels. <laughs> it's kind of a jam, but like only on accident. I think now's the time, bro. It's like Roadhouse. I'm like, like oh, I'm putting, I'll, it, I'm I'll putting in these Roadhouse. investments right now to strength. Now I'm picturing next recording. Brett's like, uh, Ted, can you uh, talk to Alexa? Put on a Wooly Bully. <laughs> I need to hear that. I need to hear that. Before, uh, 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 I remember the fuck out of that chipmunk movie, though. I'm telling you, man, the villains were like strangely like Hot? perverted towards the little I chipmunk do not girls. That. I don't it's, remember that it's at all. It's fucked up. I have no. All I remember is it was a race between the chipmunks. Yeah, it was like around the world and the race. Chipettes. Yeah, and yeah, ha- yeah, and Miss Hannigan. And one time they name? make the was, chipettes. Oh, was that the chipettes? Is a. Uh, uh, I don't Guardian? know. I don't know what she was. But that's just the, the lady from Annie that, that's played by uh, right. Carol Burnett, right? Miss Hannigan, and then Dave. Oh. oh. Have I never? Is this death? Is this real? There's one point where the chipettes are like dressed in freaking harem clothes. It's weird. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Huh. I'll be damned. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't like this. What is this? This seems like the den of something. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Oh. All right. Oh. That's nice. I know where we are. We're not, we're we're good. We're good. This is nothing. We're right back up there is where we were, but I think Can honestly, in order to go forward, we gotta kind of go through that hole in the wall. Can we even go back? I don't think so, right? Yeah, we're gated, but oh, is this the secret way? Kind of. Yeah, this is the way I always went. There we go. Yeah, we're good. This is the way that like leads to that guy, right? Which guy? He's like, hello, I'm nice, and then he actually like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm nice. You know, do some bridge. This is the bridge version. <laughs> Immediately and, don't trust you. <clears throat> Hello, I'm not. Nice. But that's exactly right because he's not he's not to be trusted. He like that's follows like someone being like I'm He follows a, you. I'm not a thief. Like <laughs> Homeboy, who's who said anything? <laughs> Hello, I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief. <laughs> nice to meet you. I will not be stealing anything of yours today. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, you don't have to worry about me, man. So kind of you. Oh. Yeah, let's go talk to him. You look so tasty, but he don't worry. I won't has eat you. something that we need. <laughs> this is who I'm talking about. Is that about. the time? This is the man I'm talking about. This is, the, this, is, this is it. What has he got? All right, listen. Tell me he's got a gun. He doesn't have it yet. And a, listen, and a leather talk jacket. To this guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's telling us to go the secret way, which is like the fun way. Yeah, but then he f- he's a little bastard. He he fucks you up. Don't worry about him. He's good. He locks you in a room or something. He looks greasy. He like steals all your shit. Or I don't remember what he does. He like oh, nice. He like takes your souls. Check or, it out, y'all. We are now like in this. This, this is, is like our first a, like proper dungeon. It's like a Dark Souls now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in here, I can't tell you where on the map. I just know it's somewhere in here. We're gonna go get. Roy Koopa's. There's two things we gotta get. The first of which is the hammer. We're That's gonna, in here. We're gonna get the brick hammer. That's huge. We're gonna go get. That's it. huge. This is it. This is it. So wait, what? What Koopa's the first one? Roy? No. Uh, Lemmy. Lemmy. Lemmy's castle. Lemmy's castle. Lemmy's castle. castle. What fucking voice was that, Ted? He was Lemmy. Oh, hammer. <laughs> this is my castle. If you want a hammer, you gotta get inside. <laughs> you hit some miss, some it's all inside the right. <laughs> you got a glowy fist. Shove it inside the person. <laughs> <laughs> Shove it inside the person. <laughs> it's like the fucking recipe. <laughs> oh shit! Here's a fucking oh, bird. Makes you feel like awesome. a nerd, but you are slinging fire, baby. I don't want to fly forever. <laughs> This is the birds from Ninja Gaiden coming into Mario. <laughs> and don't forget the hammer! <laughs> oh, oh my god. boy. I love Lemmy. Rip, my guy. I was editor of the school magazine! There's two Ghostbusters in that movie! In fucking Airheads, Lemmy has a fucking cameo. And it wasn't, a t- like, it's just wild, man. That That's a movie from what, 94 or something like that? Airheads? Yeah. Yeah. There's two. Damn, that's Count them. Long, that's two Ghostbusters. Real ones. 
in that fucking movie. It's That's a long time ago. A different time. Oh, yeah. Whole different vibe around actors and, and cameos <gasps> at that time. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Now you want fucking Iron oh. Man to cameo in your movie. It costs like $1.5 million. It's not like, well, I'm on the Sunset Trip today. I could come down. Dude. Yeah, not like we can get John Candy for free. Yeah, he's here. For many scenes. He just wants to jump in. Bill Murray's here. He wants to do a scene. Remember when I told you about the, like, they did the, uh, on Oprah, the cast of Ghostbusters 2 was doing, like, Dude. a group interview there to promote the movie coming out? There's some, like, Chris lewd Farley's, comment. Chris Farley's in the audience. Just, like, randomly? Well, it's not random, because I think a lot of the audience that day was filled with members of, uh... Second uh, City? Uh, yeah. yeah. Just because they were, like, near? Yeah. Like, seat fillers? I don't think it was seat fillers. I think it was, like... They just want to go see the Ninja the, Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, like... Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd were like, "We're gonna be on Oprah. We we got we can get you tickets if y'all want to be in the audience." They were like, "Cool." I That's think. so funny. Yeah, that <sighs> fucking meme from that clip is like super good. Of like, oh, the Ninja Turtle one. He says something like nasty about April, and then it cuts to some kid who's like, "Yeah, that one's incredible." Next time on Beard Bros, we're gonna explore this proper dungeon, the Brick Hammer, kicking up some birds, dude. Hold on, can I? Is it possible? <laughs> Ragdoll this thing off. Of yeah. All right, yeah. You know what? I'm happy to, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Happy to wait. Guys, <laughs> if you like what we do here, make sure you support us on Patreon <laughs> for more more content like this. We'll see you guys. Oh, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Wait, wait. <laughs> here comes Challenger Tekken Eight. <laughs> get up, get up, get up to the top of the world, Tekken.